It's 9-11! It's 9-11! Yeah, it was good that I got cut off there. Uh... It's 9-11, which is where we've decided to take an act break in our show. To yeah, we're, we're going to use that now as an organic time to, to stop and, and take an act break. And, uh, and announce the fact that we are now officially going to start our D&D campaign, our Pathfinder campaign. Oh, whoa! 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 But... He kind of did that in the wrong order. We, the 9-11 is a reminder that we go to a word from our sponsor for people who listen to the podcast for free. Okay. Do you guys know what Fulton and Rourke is? A full mitt Rourke? Fulton and Rourke is a premier men's uh, toiletry service that specializes in wax-based cologne and uh, body wash for men. Well, now you're confusing people because what we're going to do is take an act break and uh, what we're going to do is take an act break that the feral audio people could identify where they would put the volume down and play one of those mid-roll ads. Right. Oh, I thought we were telling the audience the ads. That was the special treat. It's it's 9-12 now. Did did that ship sail? Uh, So here's what we're going to do. It's 9-11, so we're going to take a, 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 a break here during which the people who listen to the podcast for free are going to uh, listen to a pre-rolled ad. During that ad that you're listening to at home for free mm-hmm. or on your subway or while you're cutting your carrots in the front lawn, uh, the people that are here live and the people that pay $5 a month are going to experience an exclusive Harmontown experience. It's called a solid gold blowjob machine. <laughs> And we're back. Come on. <laughs> that is some insane recall right wow, there. Wow. Well done. You guys, well, that you guys that's amazing. Content. I wish people could hear. Uh, it was uh, <laughs> large. Wow. Yeah. You guys missed something. If you, if you don't pay five bucks a month, you, there's, there's callbacks to other shows yeah. that happen. Uh, all right. <laughs> let, let, let's all put our pants back on and get back to the show. <laughs> that was uh, chilling. All right. Well, so we, this, has been, we've been, this has been long delayed, like, like us getting into the, the D&D thing. Like we, but we're, so we're not going to do actual gameplay this episode. That's right. going to be the next episode. Psst, hold on, uh, uh, but uh, we're gonna. What? What? You're, the, one thing that we're gonna establish about the D and D thing is we're gonna do it earlier in the show, about halfway through, and so we're hopefully a little more sober. We're gonna keep it consistent, like with terms of so that we're not was like we're we're looking at well what how did it spiral out of control? Like we're just gonna have. Like uh, uh, people that are always able to do the show, doing the uh, the the characters, and we're not going to start doing the rotating guests and all that stuff. And Spencer's going to always call the shots. We have to respect his authority as as dungeon master, both in terms of right, off, that's in my contract, out of game. <laughs> And in game, like, 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 so that's why I had, I now hand it over to you okay. uh, to explain like what we're doing this this week. You should, All right, you should have played that graduation music. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we're gathered here today. Um, no, I don't know. Well, so we have your characters. I have your character sheets. I thought we should talk about your backgrounds and like come up with your shared backstory as kind of like a fun exercise so that when we start, we'll kind of have some sense of your, your history together, you know? Does All that right. make sense? Yeah, so Dan, what, what is your uh, character's race and class? It's a great question. It's like a quiz, like I have to know it now? <laughs> you, you haven't thought about your bag. character? I haven't thought about this in a I, while. I, we kept pushing it off. Like I, Spencer and I weeks I know, I ago I, got, got my character together. Where I, I know what my spells are. I'm, I'm, I'm no, be, you're very proactive. Dan, you're a human cleric. I'm a human cleric, you dick. No, uh, I did. What, I did forget. I what's forgot. your character's name? <laughs> Have I? Is that blank so no, far? No, that's part of what we gotta come up with. Okay. Well, I don't. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna let that sit because. Uh, what well, can I see my sheet or should? Is there anything I? Yeah. Should? Yeah. Uh, no, there's nothing. We, this is what we're trying to figure out. Right. I mean, uh, yeah. I'm I should have showed player. you guys these earlier when we weren't on stage, but you seemed busy. Yeah. <laughs> should we get Steve? Oh yeah, because we're gonna we're gonna do not Steve A. G. Levy. Levy, we gotta bring Levy up. Get so little Levy yeah. sitting down there on the floor. Levy, get up here. Steve Levy. You're gonna 
gonna love it at Levy. More like I, a rivy. <laughs> man, I'm... <laughs> Finally, more dudes on the stage. So here's the thing about that. That is just, we're going to have to just take a, yeah, we're going to have to just take that, 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 that bullet. And I, I'm not going to be one of these guys that says, hey, you got a $100 million movie, take it easy, equality achieved. Uh, however, I will say that it, that it but like, because we, we want to be able to have consistency, we, it's, it's like, we're, it, for the D&D, &D, it is going to be, I'm not, I, 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 I had a wife and I lost her. Because uh, I, I, of D&D. &D. We got, we, <laughs> like, like we're, we'll, we'll, we'll continue to. And plus, like, I looked into it. It turns out girls are actually bad at D&D. &D, so. <laughs> oh, no. What? I just, it was on, I looked it up, I saw it online. <laughs> You got to send your angry letters to the show. The uh, show. we're not gonna we're not gonna like circulate through special guests. That, that sexist playing. moment brought to you by Gold Bond Powder. <laughs> we're not gonna circulate through special guests, that, like, like, that, which means that if we're starting with a sausage party, it's gonna be a consistent sausage party every time we play D and D. The show is largely sausage party. Uh, but can, like, can women not join the game if they've already played it? Do the cast stay together from birth? I, yeah. Uh, I, the, the, uh, no, uh, the, uh, the, we're gonna the game. Brandon, you, you just broke Dan Herman. <laughs> the game that we're gonna play. The, Welcome the, back, Jeff. Our D and D campaign started to fall apart because it started to become like it was. Yeah, we would have Curtis Armstrong like two out of ten it's times, and Demorge would be the three. Out of it was all com cu Kumail, Kamel. Damn. So, so we have to force ourselves to, to to have like a rib cage where we're like we we know there's certain, there's people who are more likely to be here every single episode, and if one of them's gone, we'll make a judgment call on whether uh, they vanish in for that episode or go into another room or Spencer plays them but l largely like or if we just take that episode off but so that there can be consistency of character and that's the other reason we're moving it up earlier in the show so that we'll, we'll be a little a little hair more towards sober and that's one of the things it's like we're the, what was the question uh, could we get more dudes on stage yeah well we're, 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 we're we, we have the <laughs> no the question was how do you uh, integrate a woman. No, 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 no. That's not no, the question. That's, that's not, not the question. question. She's starting that's with not. the same players and no. sticking because with them. Because the answer the is okay. you start bringing strangers up on stage every week, and that's not. That's the, what I'm trying to explain is that we have to take a hit on gender equality and all that stuff in the interest of a solid D and D campaign because we don't. We're not. We're, we. That's what they said I'm, about baseball. <laughs> <laughs> And now we have our own postage stamps. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like we made it. You guys got a hundred million dollar movie. What is that? What are you talking about? Wonder Woman. It's like a record breaking uh, oh. thing. Is a hundred million dollars good? Yeah. Yes. Good. Great. Yeah, that's good for a movie to make it its first weekend. Yeah. Dan, yeah. what's your fucking character's name? I'm yeah, not that gonna, was the question. I'm not telling you yet. <laughs> it's the women's sock. No, that's my character's name. <laughs> what are you, you're a human cleric, you said? You're a human cleric. Mm -hmm. so right, you're, and you guys are in service of the Church of the Silver Flame. Yeah. What's oh. your character's name? Uh, Chad the Fire Liker. <laughs> Do you know your character's name? I haven't really thought about it. Well, this is the time. I announced I was going to come back and we were going to play D&D. You guys don't even have names for your characters. We've been hurt by you before. <laughs> you announced that we were going to play D&D. You left us. Yeah, because you... this show doesn't pay. I... You announced we were leaving the meltdown. We had to just find the castle. Yeah. You changed the his locks idea. at the comic book store. We couldn't even find I, I it. I missed you guys. I, was, I, I, got, I got excited about the, uh, our new campaign. I know, but... but I, I picked my spells. I got the whole shit together. I picked your spells. No, you... No, it's not true. 
<laughs> I, I, we, 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 consul- we consulted about that. Can you, oh, is no. there a middle gear between uh, I, I, passionate, like ze- zealously, I'm so dedicated to us doing this particular thing right now, and you totally fucking leaving the show? Like, like just you coming back and just being like, oh, I'm back, it's good to be back. Like, it's okay, Dan forgot he was a human cleric. Dan is right, Jeff. <laughs> Fuck you, Brandon. You're like Ulysses. He comes back. He's like, who's trying to fuck my wife? And then he just kills everybody. <laughs> you know, one of those guys, one of those guys Ulysses killed was just like, he thought, I was like, I was told you were dead. I came to propose to your wife. I didn't touch her. I was just I, 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 participating I, in an arrow shooting contest. Now I'm dead. I've been away. Maybe I'm overcompensating by, by my absence and I felt remiss. And so I, I, I thought a little bit about what spells I have. Uh, they're, they're mostly fire because I'm Chad the fire liker. All right. I'm a gnome druid, by the way. Was the idea... Why, why do I always play small characters? Is that because I'm tall? I can't remember in this instance. Oh, because you liked the drawing I did. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. That's why. Yes. <laughs> you, you, what Was the idea oh, of this good. segment that you just want us to tell you stuff about Well, I characters? mean, I really thought it would be quick to come up with the names and we'd move on. <laughs> What, 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 you're a cleric, so what kind of stuff are you into? Like, what's your alignment, and like, like, what, what kind of, what kind of cleric? Or are even you? just, what's your name? <laughs> no need to complicate it. I think your name should be Chad. Also, <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just gonna say, uh, Chad the fire hater. Ch- Chad, ch- ch- Chadrick. My name's Chadrick. It's not a good idea. And then Steve will be the fire Rick. lover. <laughs> no. I, uh, yeah, I, I mean, uh, Carlos. <laughs> Carlos. I like it. I love it. Carlos. Carlos. Johnson. <laughs> Carlos what a Johnson. What funny name, Johnson. Yeah, where'd, that, where'd you get that? <laughs> Carlos Johnson, the unimaginative. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Great. I, I, are you a... So you're like a, a healer, magic user kind of guy? A cleric. Or? Yeah. I'm a holy man. I'm a oh, cleric. Yeah. And uh, so what's your relationship to the... Uh, well, what's Steve? Uh, I've been thinking about it while on stage, and uh, I was in Dan's office for a phone call the other day. All right. And on his window board, it was... <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I might. <laughs> They're the words, diarrhea junior. <laughs> And I was really, it, you know, of piqued course. my curiosity, and I, I think that should be my name. Maybe DJ for short. Oh, that's great. <laughs> DJ, that's great. <laughs> okay, yes. that's good. This role-playing game is playing itself. Yeah. yeah. So now we got to come up with your characters, high concepts, and your, your great weaknesses. So, so uh, I mean, concepts are already kind of come up. You're a pyromaniac gnome. You're, uh, you should come up with your concept because yours is generic. And Steve, you're kind of like a uh, person what? who can give people diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> is that his special power? Oh, I mean, I think his power is he, he has, has to it. stay out of pools for what? 14 days. <laughs> <laughs> he, he has to DJ of- the no pool swimmer. <laughs> His, his, his weakness is he has to drink a lot of Pedialyte all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, he can't resist it. He's, uh, and your flaws, if you came up with a concept, come up with a flaw. I mean, so, so, so the concept is that does that translate into game terms? Like, in ter- I mean, no, I, it's like it's just like I mean, if you're pitching Jeff Winger, you're all like, you know, an out that, of work. Well, I don't know, you okay. know, but like that, but for okay, your character, got it, got it. And did you you didn't you didn't you didn't have anything in mind for no? Me, because I don't know. I only know what Jeff's going to be. And Steve said he was kind of basing his off Link from Zelda, so that's kind of his concept. But you don't really have one. Well, I think I'd like to be a a uh, an overzealous. I mean, that's judging the character. Character, but that that's he's he's a zealous like uh, he's a zealot he's a zealot <laughs> I think you'd call him like 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 uh, but uh, a uh, kind of a like a like a like the, like a like a, one of those Westboro Baptist 
Yeah, like 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 somebody <laughs> that, but not not somebody that's like a cult leader in the making. Like 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 somebody that, that that has that's so zealous that it's really more about their ego. Like a genuine zealot who actually has a fucking like problem like they found meaning in this religion and if it weren't for this religion they'd be so fucked up it's unspeakable so they're hooked on it and can't it like 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 so the, you know maybe this person is like you're like christopher eccleston in the leftovers oh i haven't seen it but uh i, I yeah <laughs> like i would say i would i would assume maybe like my character is like has a problem like it's, they're a sociopath you know like uh, richard spencer did you ever see that yeah uh, that, there's so many shitty people with spencer in their name it sucks Sorry, yeah <laughs> did you ever see that uh 1992 youtube video it's 28 minutes long called child of rage it's this little girl she keeps going and, they keep, and there's a off-screen therapist that keeps going like and hey, what would you like to do to your little brother Pick them with pins. Um, like she's like because she was adopted and she was found like in a crib in her own piss and stuff. And she like she so she didn't know love and didn't it doesn't know how to process it. So shit like 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 there's something wrong with this guy. But then he found like uh, his religion. Right. right. He's not and it really has like given him meaning and direction. But he doesn't. It hasn't helped him grow to the extent that if he were to ever so he needs this religion to really keep them together right i like that so much (laughs) religious fanatic it's like when you meet when you meet somebody that you're like oh man you're super dedicated to being a nerd because if you weren't a nerd if you someone actually gave you iron man armor the first thing you do is step on innocent people's heads because you're so angry like like (laughs) like but not like i don't think this guy has rage issues as much as i think he like actually doesn't know right from wrong and so he's relieved to feel that um, yeah, I like it. Okay. Um, so, all right, come up with uh, Steve. Do you have anything yet? Come up with weaknesses if you haven't yet. Think about that, Steve. Do you have anything for what, what's concept? Steve, what's, what's, what's Diarrhea Junior's racing class again? He's an elf or half elf. He's a he's a elf fighter. <laughs> elf fighter. I think that yeah, my guy's course. my guy's weakness would be susceptibility to like kind of charm like kind of things because if he's like he's he doesn't have like he's a, a follower. Well, he does. Yeah, he doesn't. He, he he's it, if you can break through his force field of uh, of, uh, of 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 uh, social programming that he like yeah like any anybody that had a that that was in the business of making people think things or illusion magic or stuff like that that he'd be a little more susceptible maybe he'd have a penalty against that because he's like kind of he's yeah is that is that a good weakness it's okay <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's a guy who hopes his weaknesses are up to snuff and he's really insecure about it. He has, he has, no, but what do you can he you, has extre- can you, Dan, you have extreme nut allergies. Can you can you can you can you work can you help me here? Because um, I don't I'm not I'm not jazzed about that well, either. It's hard but. to say because the, the only thing is I think this is kinda what I told Jeff a little bit. It would be better if they weren't part of your character concept. So oh. it's like that's kind of a natural consequence of your concept. So this would be a more lateral weakness. You know, like he also he he, he uh, you know he he he, has a bad he never leg? turns right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Uh, polio. Sure. Could be polio. <laughs> Do you get wheeled he around has or something? Polio. <laughs> my, my dad survived the polio epidemic in the fifties, and uh, so he has like a withered leg. My dad. Okay. So I grew up with a very masculine dad who walked with a masculine limp, but when he wears shorts, he has like this little toothpick leg. Um, next this to is in real life. This is real life. I just uh, so that's just why clarifying. I'm, un, I'm Carlos the unimaginative. I I, <laughs> so I write what I know. Uh, so I was th- I don't know be, like maybe I maybe I maybe I have like I I have literally have a physical limitation. Like you could I, have polio, sure. Like I have like I like I had a I survived a disease. That left me permanently uh, capable. <laughs> Father's Day is next weekend. Yes. The, the choices you're making right now will stick with you for a long time, you know. No, I'm trying to, yeah, I mean, go big or go home, right? Like, yeah. I mean, he's a cleric, so I figured, you know, like, he's, yeah, like, like I don't know. Is that, is it, do you, does that, is that, I can keep. I That's can, fine, but, uh, I mean, I will say that we do live in a world, I mean, we don't, but you will. Where movement is important. Well, no, where magic can heal death, right. even. So, like, a leg. 
Boy, howdy, can that be healed? Well, what? A, well, what about like you know like um uh uh uh. uh but that doesn't mean he can't be you know. Remember Doctor Strange, the guy that's like he he's playing basketball and it's like oh actually <laughs> I'm supposed to be totally fucking immobile, but I went to like what if what if he what if he did he is healed with magic, but he has like there's magic keeping him kind of go, without it. Oh, so he's like wearing a magic brace. Yeah. Okay. Or I he, like that a lot. Or he has to constantly drink some kind of potion or something that he's basically addicted to because it's right, medicine. Cool. Or... Yeah. Well, that'll slot into... Great. Okay. Got a big laugh one. from Annie. Was a... <laughs> Steve, you have anything? Uh, no, you... Steve AJ, man. Oh. <laughs> I'm still thinking about homeless Ben Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, I meant Levy, though. Oh. Sorry. Uh... uh... Can you help me out? What, 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 what's a normal kind of weakness? Uh, well, what's your character concept? Uh, the mute swordsman from far away. That's your character concept. Okay. Not completely mute, but you don't talk much. Hmm. Look, if you're open to pitches, I think even yeah. though you're nervous right now, because the reason you're nervous and lethargic is because you don't want to fuck this up. The reason you don't want to fuck it up is because you want to be really good when we play D and D in the podcast. I do want to be good. You're gonna be. You're. You're. You should. You should really like. I. I think you should be a. a you should be yourself. I think you should be like like really enthusiastic. All right. Uh. <laughs> That's his weakness. Look, that's a terrible weakness. Like, could you be like, what? What is his character? What is your character? What is your? I'm a half elf. Just elf, but yeah. I'm an elf swordsman, right? Yep, fighter. So is it? So is it? Fire like, swordsman. And we're fighter. writing his history. We don't know fighter. his history. Fighter. Like, like, we're, huh? Are we writing his history? Like a little bit. I mean, we're about to now. Could once he, we get his weakness, but he, we can move on. Could he be kind of a kind can of? Be, can the cold be the, weak? My weakness. The cold's everyone's weakness in a okay. way. That cold is the one weakness. Then we're going to be playing, and you're going to we're going to want your leaviness happening. I think he should be. Can't your problem just be that you're like leaving? That, that he's like that he's like erstwhile. He's like a squire, you know. Right, like, he yeah. was like assigned to this church because it, and, and it's like you're like you're this guy. Like do you're I, always, do you're I always be- telling me that you love me and stuff, and okay. that I should eat better. And I'm like, fuck, yeah, it's go fucked fuck up. yourself. Yeah. Right, like, like, right. And it's a huge and, weakness. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His weakness is he's, he's like like a like like he's a caretaker to the point of extremism. Like like he he worries more about other people than he, he should probably care more about he's himself. He's crippled by his naivete. He's an anxious warrior. That he's might a, be true. You, you have an ideology that is you actually think that that a happy ending is possible for this species, and it's sad yeah. sometimes. Okay, that's true. <laughs> and Jeff, you're afraid of the dark, right? Well. I, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Why couldn't he go first? I don't... <laughs> Terrified of the dark. <laughs> because my, my, my character, is, it's not unrelated. Maybe it's, maybe it's partially related because I was raised, uh, like I got captured when I was like, like a little druid gnome and held by demons like underground and I like prayed to like the silver flame gods and like actually conjured fire. And so like I, I, I use like fire as kind of a crutch because I'm afraid of, I'm terrified of the dark. Right. Does that okay? So yeah. So I'm. I'm. I'm I, like. Like. Also, kind of a germaphobe. <laughs> Do you? Is your because I want to make sure my character balances with yours. But I'm. I'm thinking more about my like. 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 Could I be like this? Like whatever my thing is that has me. Like I'm. I'm sort of a self-flagellating kind of character, figuratively or literally, where I'm like, oh, pain is important, right. and and, uh, and you have to. You, you know, like, it's like uh, like I'm actually suspicious. Of, you know, like like like. Uh, like 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 twenty yeah, percent uh, uh, Dinklage in Game of Thrones, at ten percent Rocket Raccoon, and then like forty uh, percent. Uh, 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 I guess me, but then like I can't remember the percentages and how they added up. But, I think uh, you're at seventy. Okay. <laughs> Uh, but but like somebody that's like kind of like 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 oh they, they they figure like you you're supposed to like they can't they can't accept good fortune and they yeah, can't yeah. Um, they can't accept joy like me like, they want to ch- they want it's like those people that like whip themselves literally yeah you yeah, you you, you flagellate. Flagellate. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah you 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 scourge your 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 own happiness you 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 right. you, 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 you eschew all <clears throat> like earthly pleasures and things like yeah. That. Cool. All right. All right. I'm afraid of the dark. (laughs) 
<laughs> All right. So let's 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 come up with your with your with your character stories. So everyone gets to come up with their own character background, like where they started their adventure. So like, where do you guys get? Do you know where you get your start? You might not know. Wait, me? All of you. These are, you know, we're thinking about these in waves. Do you mean so. backstory or where we're uh, starting? Yeah, backstory. So where'd you get your start? Like, so for you, you're a religious guy, so it might be where you found religion and, like, joined the church or something. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just riffing here, but I... Right, yeah, we're all just, yeah. Right. We're making I, it up. I'm just going to go from birth forward. I, I, I... I... <laughs> I think I was like one of those kids whose parents like 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 prostituted them, you know, like 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 had them. Oh my like, god! <laughs> like but, toddlers and tiaras kind of thing, or but way worse. Less first world, more uh, low hand brass tacks kind of prostitution. Like 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 genuine genuine horrible abuse at the hands of like uh, just a just left to drift in a horrible society. Like like born in filth. And uh, and then subject to the ho- the horrible inhumanities, and then developed a horrible like I, I, I and life then, is pain. Yeah, and then and then because of that, maybe in my adolescent years, we'll put a pin in it. But so, whatever that was, it led to injury or disease so severe that I was finally broken down, and then found this. So maybe somebody from this religion like like converted me, and then that, I started to become a cleric at like nineteen or something, and that. And and then so so then and then but then within this church of the silver flame i i i'm like a zealot that i because i'm not politically facile i'm always uh you know i'm not a threat to any of the higher ups i'm like always good for being sent on a mission but it's like my only problem is that i'm kind of like like i will like 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 the, i'm neither i'm not going to make a good Cardinal, because I'll always question hypocrisy of the church itself. So, like, I kind of been like bounced around, and like they'll they'll make me do weird shit if you can justify it. Yeah. And so I so I wound up at this place because I maybe this is like a, a kind of a, in the outskirts. This place, this this church. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a big church. It's like a, it covers the whole country. But I mean, are we geographically going to start at a place that's like yeah, uh, outskirts? <laughs> okay, yeah. Sorry. So maybe I've been transferred to that place recently because of a recent like dust up I had with a superior where I called them out on their yeah, religious and then you hypocrisy. Got sent to the outskirts. Yeah. Great. That's how you got your start. Either of you guys have anything? Steve looks like I, he's going for something. I got something. Um, so, uh, my uh, my my village when I was a kid was burned to the ground. I love it. And my <laughs> my parents were murdered, um, but the church took me in. But the thing that I don't know is that it was the church that murdered my entire village, including my parents. Okay. I don't think the crowd likes that. You should change your story. <laughs> no, that's great. Um, all right. Great. Jeff? Uh, yeah, I think that, um, like like I said, I, I feel like my like I, was a, I was kind of born in captivity. Right, and you were in darkness by demons. In, in, in darkness, surrounded by demons who were, were, like, and all there was was, like, like the only light was, like, flaming torches. And my the rest of my family were just these, like, super religious, very docile Druids who didn't believe in violence. They were so pure. And I didn't want to, like, just die in there. Like, I watched all my family die inside these, like, these wooden cages inside this, like, darkness. And I thought the only way to get out is I, I like, I, you I heard I, your family dying. Yeah. I heard them die, right. Yeah. Well, you can, there's a little flickering of flame. You can kind of, okay, you sure. can see them fall it's over. A shadow. Yeah. There could be a twist in season three where we reveal in flashback that, oh no, it was, yeah, that was a sock. <laughs> <laughs> but then, like I like th- because they were so docile and they didn't like ever use like their 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 druidic powers. Like they're, 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 there was no nature in there to really summon because we we're just like we we're so underground and hidden that I like I think I like communed with like the the, the silver flame. You know, who's the spirit that, that, that you, you call to? The spirit of the silver flame. Right. Uh, I called to that, and I was given this kind of extra violent power of fire. And I ended up just burning my way out, and kind of like so. I'm like I like I'm using like it's, it seems like an anti-nature thing to like to want to set things on fire, but that was how I got out. And so I'm just kind of, I think I'm a little guilt-ridden about the fact that I have more of a violent tendency than I wish I did. So I try to use it, like my flames, to purify things and purify myself. 
I like it. I'm so I like that it's right all now kinda... that I almost started crying to that story. <laughs> I like that there's a theme of darkness. Like we don't just have like a uh, person that that like eats marshmallows for breakfast and doesn't know pain because they whatever they like we're all we're we're, this we're is all a very, little damaged. This is a very cultish dark. Like we we fit into a theme. That's good. I like that. Yeah, I think it's very genre. Um, yeah. <laughs> so now we're gonna come up with how you guys met. So Jeff is gonna come up with how he met Steve. Steve's gonna come up with how he met Dan, and Dan's gonna come up with how he met Jeff. And then we'll do a second round of that. So it's and and if you forget, it's to the person to the right, and then Dan, you wrap around right. to Jeff. And, and and Steve, briefly, you're you're an elf fighter. And what what, what, what briefly what was your backstory? Family again? died. Family died. It was the church, but he doesn't know. Okay. Um. I, Wait. Can I just yeah. to because I just want to make so you, you the. The, the the first adventure isn't going to be like how we met. No. Well, I mean, this could be. Well, what's the first adventure in the future? Well, I just mean, no, no, when we're about to play, when we play it. Like, yeah, no, like, you'll have met each other at the very least. Like, you'll, you'll, you know. Like, we're doing like modern TV. We're not writing an origin pilot. We're starting on episode right. seven. Yeah, you know? well, this yeah. would be the origin pilot that we're currently right. writing right now. Right, right. And yeah. so we're not going to start right. going, hey, yeah. how are you? My right. name is Donald. Exactly. Uh, it might be like, oh, we're back in the same wagon but it's not like right. oh who are you fucks yeah i like that that's that's smart from a from a from a from a peak tv perspective. steve how old are you when, when you when your family got killed probably elves are old too so whatever <laughs> 106 five or five five <laughs> All right, so my well, I met Steve when I when I when I burst out of this cave that I was in. Do you think in. elves live so long that when they're seventy, they're like sucking on a pacifier? <laughs> like, what's the point of living long if it? Okay. Um, when I came out of the darkness, I was also like five, and I, I stumbled into him, and he because he's an elf and a little more worldly and a little more like you're a fighter, right? Yeah, I feel like he took pity on me and kind of took me under his wing because I was just this little blinded mole person that had been living in darkness, and I'm terrified of the dark, you guys. And he kind of took me under his wing and kind of looked after me and kind of got me on my feet. He was like my kid brother. Yeah, you guys were temporary brothers. Yeah. Is that, is that good enough? Sure. All right. I guess. Well, I mean, yeah, whoever has an idea. It can go. Yeah. Uh, so after my village was burned down, I don't re remember any of it, but that's, you know, the church adopted me and they raised me and that was my family. They're the best. And Dan's character was my mentor and he took me under his wing and he was like, look, <laughs> see a lot of myself in you and uh, I'm gonna make sure that you, you know, can run this church later on. <laughs> All right, so I killed his parents. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. No, but let's wait. Are you suggesting you guys are the same age? Well, no, I mean... No, when we... we, 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 we yeah, when we you say that? You, well, I, I think, no, we... are both no, five? Well, let's, let's see. Like, like, no, I thought that was when we met. Yeah, but let, 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 let's say, like, we've known each other for, let's say, 20 years. Who, me and you? Me, no, me, me and uh, Steve. Like, uh -huh. like I, we were children when we right. met, but we, like, we, we kind of grew up together. So, like, I kind of... So, could we just make it simple, and I'm kind of like a, like a fucked up, like, Dumbledore? Is that, like, yeah, like, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, like, I'm, I'm the, like, You're instead of it being children. like, oh, we met at the tavern, and I'm... You're like, the priest like, from the Keepers. <laughs> <laughs> You did unspeakable things to these kids. <laughs> then I'm like, I'm like, I'm like a teacher. Yeah. I'm a professor. Well, what about? The, I mean, not to be hacky, like X many about it, or you know, like like, but like you recognize kind of nascent greatness in our in our spirituality, and you kind of mentored us and to kind of raise us and like focus our powers. Well, I think it's like almost like now, and this is where we get into like, don't you know, whatever you whatever you have in store for us is fine. But like the thing that would be interesting was that it's like it's kind of a suicide mission, but I'm taking my favorite students with me and I don't mean like I'm superior to you guys but I'm older than you yeah. and you were like like I'm a cleric at the Church of the Silver Flame you, the path that brought you guys together then joined and led you to where I have been for a while yeah, right. and I was so, like 
trying to teach you guys to like meditate or whatever, but then like I got I got like some X-Men. mission or something. Right. In the timeline, did you get sent to the outskirts before you met did you get like, you know, edged out by the, the church before you met them or after? Before well, I, well uh, I'll go either, but well, do you want me to pick? No. I, yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, 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 before, because okay. because because I've been I've been actually in the outskirts for a while because it's like the pachinko machine of society like brought me <laughs> to like where I am, where I'm like I just hang out, I make a paycheck, I teach people to pray, right. and like that pain is important. So that sounds like you connected, and then you got sent away, and kind of you're not in con- contact with them too. Very I got often. like like I like these guys, like they yeah. I, I got a telegram that said you need to go get the orb of the thing not to tell you your job but, the, but it should probably be an orb um, <laughs> I'm and I'm not so saying this fucked. is our first adventure because like I said we're starting episode 7 but yeah. maybe the origin was that they right. this is what we're, yeah, what's they the said origin? hey shithead like, it's, like I'm in the outskirts because I'm, I was already a piece of shit and then they like just wanted to kill me like, and, and then I was allowed to take like like people and they came with me and we maybe had success, and so now we're kind of like out there, and we get like communiques, and they go, right. "Okay, now go do this." Yeah, I got you. Because so are, now are, we've are, become are we, like are, are Blackwater are, are for are this we, church. We're kind of working together to kind of regain favor, maybe yeah, back. Yeah, you'll the be church. together at the beginning. Like you'll be on a mission, like together. Right. I'll f- come up with it. Exactly so, yeah, so we're kind of like like a, maybe a little band of misfits that yeah. like kind of not is in great, good graces with the church, maybe because we're not pure enough. And we're trying to like we're trying to like prove ourselves yeah it would probably help to have a go like how do we see the future like i i kind of like 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 what do we think what do we hope the outcome of this well the church of the silver flame exists to exercise and purify the world of evil so i don't know that doesn't necessarily have to be your goal but that's kind of what the church exists for like you know Christianity is like save all sinners. Like this is just kill all evil. Yeah, I, I think like it'd be cool. Like if we're all kind of zealots in our own way, but we're not very orthodox about right. it. Like, like like we're and you're like irregulars. We're, we're, we're rough around the edges, but we're trying. Because I to think like, my religion, my part of the silver flame, I'm attracted to the idea of like people keep saying, "Oh, our job is to purify." Uh, by burning and like they don't focus on the filth that is the wood you have to fucking be you have to have the pain and and like and you are setting it on fire like I like these guys because they're nuts and bolts people that get results done and I don't I I think that I've been fired let's say from three shows I I created I mean uh, campaigns that I've done (laughs) And, and, and like I'm out there and I'm going like like my overall goal is I don't care if I die trying I mean I don't want to die but I want to actually prove that politics and kissing ass and stuff is like that this this church the religion is right right the the church is wrong I know that they they've got us out here wandering doing missions because they can't wait for us to die I love it that we keep not dying so I'm a li- I'm like the dark version of Tom Hanks in Saving Private Ryan, where I'm like, like just fucking don't let the German go. But 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 uh, the the, the <laughs> where, where, where I'm like, the, like like we're out there, and it's like I do, I do believe in my zealous heart that one day we're gonna we're gonna make headlines <laughs> like like or we're gonna do their job for them like, yeah yeah we're, we're a little renegade we're going a little, like we're we're we don't go through normal channels maybe but we all are zealots in our own way but we do really believe like in some sort of like that we can rid the world of evil awesome last last part okay so now you come favorite up with, color <laughs> <laughs> yeah um no, you come up with a one special thing about your character. So, I mean, Dan, you're already someone who's like magically healthy. That might be your thing, but you could have a different thing. But this is like, this is like a special, special thing, like a unique Mary Sue trait. Mary Sue. Yeah, let's move past it. <laughs> what? Did you say wisdom basket or let's get past it? Let's move past it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. But also... What if you had a wisdom basket? Yeah, wisdom wisdom basket. basket. (laughs) That should be the secret 9-11 segment. I thought he said Elizabeth the wisdom basket. basket. I have a a wisdom basket that if I ever lose... Because it's like like a self... It's like a self-torturing thing where every... All the pain I feel, I collect it. Nah, that's I don't want to. I don't want to connect all these dots. So this, this needs to be like lateral. 
Like, like, like this is like a, just a thing, like a glass eye. Or yeah. A, like I said, it is pretty reasonably unique that like you have some sort of ailment right. that you're constantly fighting against. That again, doesn't have to be it, but like, that's a g- cool give me a, Give me a, for instance about how specific you want this to be. Um, you're secretly a fairy. <laughs> Spencer, can fairy. we get back to the game please? And uh, stop <laughs> attacking each other. He's ju- he, he just asked a question. Just, you don't have to get angry at everyone. You're, you're, you're the fastest you're, gun, gunslinger in the West or something. <laughs> you know, special thing. All right. Uh, uh, photographic memory. Oh, I see. Premature ejaculator. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> just an example. <laughs> That's a good one. No, you guys go first. Let me think. Yeah, I should have picked Any, any suggestions other than anyone? You got anything? Say what? Burns cover your body. Burns cover my body. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, so I'm just totally burned? I don't think that's unique enough. Huh? That's not unique enough? Yeah, I well, think a lot just of people my asshole? are burned. <laughs> your asshole. So glad you heard it. I was about to repeat it for my, you. My asshole is one giant third degree burn. Oh, no. <laughs> that's horrifying. No, uh, it's like that pizza, <laughs> like that part of the pizza that you try to eat around because it's burnt. What's happening? What is your butthole? Are you imagining it? What's that pain face? I'm, yeah, I'm trying to thinking. Oh, that's my oh, story breaking. I think you're imagining the third uh, I, I, I night terrors. Like, like, like. Oh, like, that's not, a good not one. Not unique. Like, this I, isn't like, your I, 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 I can't sleep around other people. Like, I might stab them. That's not a unique. Okay. Oh, it's not unique. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. Well, this is helpful. Like, right. you, the like, most so like, unique that yeah, it's like, like this is the one guy in all right. of Midian that. Yeah. Okay. And it might not be a Quite talent, barking. but it's definitely something unique. Right. Like. Uh, okay. All like, right. What'd you say? You got three balls? Is that what you said? Like, you once stole the robe off the king's back and he thanked you for it. <laughs> like, that's unique. He refuses to employ any women. <laughs> Shit. That's all not unique. <laughs> <laughs> Andy's and just here to fucking hate on you the entire time. <laughs> it's fine. I accept what? it. My, what if my dick was fireproof? This is a gentleman in the front row. All right. That's I unique. thought this was supposed to be imaginary. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> unique, like unique. That's the unique. question was, what if you could produce ice cream at will from your hands? Oh, oh man. The answer is not unique enough. That would be badass. You'd have diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> you have a you have a quado. I have a I have a pair of 3D glasses. Uh, it's unique because 3D has not been invented right. yet. Right. Uh, <laughs> they're just useless. A glass eye is 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 more unique than your body being covered with burns. Yeah, like, you're the on, only catch person up with a to glass the uniquity eye. of this world. <laughs> What'd you say, sir? Zeppelins and. I, I again only heard the word zeppelins because I talked over your the repeat of your question. Well, no, you're. He needs to repeat his zeppelins question, and I'll get to you in a second. What did you, the zeppelins guy on the count of three ask your question so that I'm not talking over the beginning of your zeppelins question? I know it ends with the word zeppelins. One, two, three, and the thing is, remember to panoply, <laughs> panoply of zeppelins. Oh, monopoly. I have a monopoly over zeppelins. I, okay, <laughs> young lady, what did you... No she wrong said, answers, no wrong answers. She said a glass eye that sees it five minutes into the future. A glass eye that sees sorry. five minutes into the future. Sorry, I wasn't trying to... Yeah. Okay, sorry. glass eye that sees five minutes in the future. Okay. I think but that's too powerful. It's too... Yeah, we, I think we're looking for... What, 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 it, what, what if, like... I, like what, what? <laughs> <laughs> Someone just said all your fingers are thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> But your thumb is five fingers. <laughs> oh, man, that's gross. Oh. Uh. Maybe on one hand, like all the fingers are thumbs. Like, I mean, would that make you more agile? Yeah, probably a bit. And if so, why doesn't, why doesn't some species have... I can what? I can understand hats. Cats. cats. Oh, cats. Yes. I was like, I'm with you, lady. I don't cats. get it. I 
I cannot Wouldn't understand it be great that to understand hat. hat. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can understand cats, but only the musical. <laughs> like you, well, I don't want to be you negative. Mean what that but, song but, is about. but you're saying like it shouldn't it shouldn't translate into like get playable kind. You shouldn't of, be like I'm the most rich person in the world, or I I have or Superman even like powers. I I, I if any time there's a cat in the game, I can talk to it. I mean like, that is not unique enough. I would say you're blind yeah. and deaf every full moon. <laughs> <laughs> If nothing else, this is a good exercise. Like, uh, are, you, are you raising your hand over here? Yeah. Your magic leg brace is a weapon. My magic leg brace is a weapon. That is unique. One time use. How unique is that possible? No one has ever used their leg brace as a weapon. <laughs> And it blow, it blows. That's the other thing. It blows people's minds. Holy shit! A leg brace being used as a weapon. That's never been done before. Well, yeah. I, I mean, think I he's I, feeling. I think he loves it. I think we got our. I would have loved it before I was told that all this other stuff wasn't unique enough, and no, you're like, your fine. leg brace can be used as a weapon. Like, no, what? no. So it's, it's like, fine. I mean, like that's like a like a summer movie from the okay, '90s. Okay, how about this? This might be a shitty pitch. I have a tattoo of an eyeball on my forehead, and occasionally, if I really focus, I can see 45 seconds into the future. That's still too powerful. That's too powerful? Yeah, man. You know, you're making up a playable thing. Oh, right? yeah. Like, well, okay. I mean, just okay, the future. I just, have, I, I just have a tattoo of an eyeball on my forehead. <laughs> But this is a really interesting right. thing. Like uh, people see, ask themselves, is there something the that future. makes you different from everyone on the planet? Shoot fire from it. It's, uh, but okay. Yeah. What? Yes. <laughs> How about this? I, I have a tattoo of an eyeball on my forehead, and I can see when my eyes are closed. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. There we go. It looks like a tattoo. Yeah, so I, 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 I can pretend like I'm sleeping, but I'm watching every motherfucker. You right. can see when your eyes are closed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. That's fair enough. That's not too, that's not too super powered? It's a bit of an advantage, but I think it's cool enough. Like, it's not overpowered at all. Yeah, like, think. people are like, hey, go to sleep. I am sleeping. <laughs> well, but you answered the question. I'm brushing my teeth. Am I fixing my hair? Am I... <laughs> Levy, you go. Yeah. Uh, also, we can move off this if you don't think it's. No, fruitful. are you fucking kidding me? This is. I'm great. just. This is the most. Offering. This is the reason why we play. <laughs> Vodka. Yeah. Oh, I, but I but, oh, but hang on, I, I can amend mine a little bit. Uh, to make it better, the tattoo of the eyeball on my forehead—it's a closed eye. Oh shit. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I think so it's got to be an open eye. It's got to be an open eye. Yeah, it's got to be like a hint. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. But it's kind of it's kind of poorly drawn, so it doesn't even look like an eyeball, really. It's poorly. It's drawn. like a poorly crafted. Yeah. Okay. It's like a shitty like jail tattoo of an eyeball. Because <laughs> I, I got it done in the dark because I was raised in the dark. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like what's unique about like you know like any of us like which is interesting like 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 like, like i think we don't we don't really want to have just a thing that makes us totally different as much as we want to be really 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 good at one thing uh you know that's what we fantasize about none of us really actually wants like a thing that makes us absolutely different from everyone else as much as our stories pretend How about, you're good. really good at dividing up the tab when multiple people are like paying for dinner <laughs> <laughs> like you know exactly who I was what. And I know there's those things like like I remember I remember we had that kind of, like we I was in Milwaukee and we talked and like one of the four people because someone asked at the table what do you think you're better at than anybody else and I had some pretentious answer about being able to write dialogue forever uh, and uh, but there was a guy who said I can count the number of words in your sentence no matter how long it is right it was it was uh, it was. Um, uh, uh, Joe, uh, I can't know. I can't remember his name from Madison Comedy Sports. Uh, you know? Joe OCD. No, what? Joe CD. Joe, uh, Joe CD. Joe C. Joe CD. Yeah. Joe CD. Joe. His Tommy Asperger. Joe Thompson. Joe. <laughs> Madison Comedy Sports. Joe Thompson. I, I don't know if I know Joe. He, he all of a sudden he just goes, "Yeah, I can do that." And I was like, "Fuck you! You can't do that." Tell me how many words in this sentence. He's like seventeen, and I was like, what the "Fuck." fuck you and then for the rest of the night and he was like <sighs> you know like you could tell that wow. he'd been living with it his whole life anyways all right right you could do that no no but it's, I mean, it's like I, what well, if that you would have be annoying actually because i complete have amnesia for five minutes every day but to the point where you don't even know what a human is you don't know what your hand is 
the sun, but for just five minutes every Oh, day. yeah, every five minutes you go on a sati- uh, salvia trip. <laughs> Uh, you make that's what happens man. you that's make scary you make a seven layer dip that's to die for <laughs> right like, like it's 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 almost magically delicious how good your seven layer dip is but you right that's a good one haunted by the voices of the people you can actually I can hear, hear them. them I can hear the voices of the people I've killed you're, yeah you're haunted or maybe even maybe even informed by them you know like but you've never killed anybody. <laughs> You're gonna find this out later. <laughs> what if I? What if I'm? What if I'm? What, what if I'm? I like that a lot. I, that, what if I'm haunted by the voices of people I'm liable? I'm a. I'm destined to kill, and that the whole. No, nah, that's stupid. It's like a fucking dumb. Like, what am I? What kind of sci-fi? That would be a reveal, I think. Yeah, because then I'm like, oh, I'm gonna make sure I don't kill that person. I just, right. Uh, okay. Well, well, I mean, what, well, what do you no, think? We're when you hear what about you're, you're haunted well, by the like fact that. that there's another cleric in your church that makes eight layer dip, and you don't know what that eight. <laughs> what that eight layer is I hear I hear the voices of every single person that I've ever killed great I love it does Steve have any oh sorry were you, you looked like you were about to say something no it's just like therefore that's a reason why I'd rather not kill people yeah and it keeps getting louder and up. louder yeah. <laughs> yeah okay I like it yeah uh, what if also the longer you go without killing that, that you've gone, that their voices start to fade. But as soon as you kill someone, all those voices come back, including the persons that you killed. I like that too. Yeah. Was, yeah that will fuse us. I like that because then awesome. I'm like, then I, then I have a very disingenuous, yeah. uh, uh, yeah. a reason to be the guy that j- doesn't want to fight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, but then I'm like, you know what? Number one. <laughs> okay. One more is not going to, not going to make a big difference. Yeah, yeah. I'll get back on my diet tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like that. It's like I'm a, I'm eating souls or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But also, every time you kill another person, you lose one layer out of your dip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Until it's just sour cream at the end, <laughs> and then, then you die. All right. I, I fucking nailed it. You guys go. <laughs> so complicated. And it was a woman that I took the idea from. Um, I don't know, Spencer. What? 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 Ask a woman. Go you ask have. Woman. What? What if? What was that? Is it, Cry is it? every time you masturbate. I think is what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Not unique at all. <laughs> In general, or to me, I, I use I I, I, st- I stopped ordering lubricant. I know my tears can do it. Uh, no, uh. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Um, I have uh, a, a incredible sniper-like accuracy when throwing any object. Too powerful. <laughs> okay. Your g- gambit. Yeah. Uh, Bullseye. Really good at bar games. Oh, like like uh, <laughs> jizz acid. Also too powerful. <laughs> <laughs> Spanish Tourette's. <laughs> <laughs> and you, even you don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> That better be the episode title. Uh, I wish. I, I couldn't see that through. I wish I could. Uh, yeah, Fin Dom. Fin Dom. What? That's actually really... Fin Dom. Uh, you, you're... Fin Dom. You, lo- you, you, you get turned on by, by, by being financially exploited. Is by that, a woman. Is, is that what that means? That's yeah, what that's I heard. What yeah, I mean, oh. that's what I learned. On yeah, Twitter they get today. these ladies yeah. and they give them all their bank account information and all their financial information. So the the women apparently like they have control over the finances of the men, and then they get off by the women paying their bills and not paying right. like spending too much for themselves. Well, that's like an extreme. I, I th- I've seen some of that. So it's like it's like it's like like you see like their their women will go like send me your send me your money you, you piece of shit. Like I saw documentaries about that. Like there's like it's like it, it it's like it could just be expensive gifts. Like you're constantly sending them expensive gifts and stuff. And they're like telling you you dumb shit, giving me all your money. And then the guys are like, oh, I know, I know. <laughs> Interesting. 
So that's your thing, Steve? The, 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 the delicious frosting that grows on the bottom of the glass ceiling. Oh. <laughs> There's got to be some advantage. What about this? Like, what if you had like a locket around your, like you were given this like necklace with a key in it, and you don't, you have, you don't know what it is, but you know it's an important thing that you, that, that was like, it's like a destin, a destiny key for some. That's for cool. I, uh... Also, also, you jizz acid. <laughs> <laughs> it's like terrible. somebody just gave you a key at one point and said, "Here's the deal: giving you a key. If the, every time you think this is full of shit, it's a test, and you'll fucking die the minute you. I don't know. Are you saying like he's walking around with a key that's like just a mind fuck? Oh, no, no, no. It's like it was like given to him like when he was too young to remember it's what a it was. Mystery like, where, oh, yeah. it's, like, okay. it's like you know, like you give a locket like with, with half of an inscription in it. You, like one day you'll find the other side and you'll yeah, like, learn some secret or some. The shit. The village but, was killed, and then he was left with a key. Say what? A keyhole? I like left a key Somebody hole. gave him a there's keyhole? A, there's a keyhole on my chest? <laughs> in his oh, yeah. There's a yeah. hole in you that's shaped like a keyhole. Just yeah. a keyhole. Oh, that's yeah, good. yeah. All right. So there's a keyhole in my chest. It's like a wound? like a. But your dick is shaped exactly like that key? <laughs> <laughs> and I won't tell him. Uh, I keep looking at it. I'm like, I think I, 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 catch, I catch it a light, and then I check. I'm like, that's the, uh, three prongs. I don't know how many times I have to look at it before I realize that's my dick's uh, hole. How many, how many people have a key dick? Yes, yeah, like, you ha- like you have to like take a lot of yoga to like get flexible enough to fuck your own chest. He's always bowing. <laughs> I mean, it's, wait, wait, like he really has a hole in his chest. Like, is it infected or? No, it's a keyhole. It's magic. It's a magic keyhole in his chest. Oh. Like Iron Man. Oh. Right. It sounds unique. Oh, is that being derivative? I didn't know that was a thing. No, well, yeah. uh, you know, well, I said, uh, I he's said Iron Man. He's got a thing. He's got an arc reactor. A magnet. Right? Yeah. He has a magic keyhole in his chest. Was it there when you woke up from your village being burnt? Or I don't remember. But inside is a, it's an eight-layer dip. <laughs> <laughs> That's the secret. Yes. Right. Yeah, inside, we, we, if you, you've, you've been told if you ever unlock that, inside is a recipe for the perfect eight-layer dip. <laughs> He's probably been told a lot of stuff. Like, every, like, you know, like you go to like a, a, a flea market and there's a fortune teller and, they're like, and you're like, by the way, I should probably show you this. And they're like, oh, I know all about that. And you're like, yeah, you and everyone else. <laughs> you know, so he's probably heard a lot of shit. But you have a hole in your chest. It's shaped like a key. Yeah. And it like... And it, I'm ever searching for... The key that'll fit into my heart hole. Oh no! <laughs> That's adorable. I love that. I love that. 